Russia forming new large units to strengthen its ground forces. Over the past two months, Russia has been forming new large units to strengthen its ground forces, but a new wave of mobilization is needed, according to British Defense Intelligence. United Kingdom Defense Intelligence noted that since the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Russia has mainly used mobilized reservists to replenish existing units or as part of infantry units from territorial defense. Russia rarely creates new combined arms military formations, such as combined arms armies, which are supposed to be a self-sufficient force. The exception was the Third Army Corps, created in the summer of 2022, which has generally performed poorly, UK Defence Intelligence added. UK Intelligence suggests that any new Russian formation will be used as a reserve force in Ukraine. However, in the long term, Russia is seeking to strengthen its forces facing NATO. Without a major new wave of mandatory mobilization, Russia is unlikely to find enough new troops to resource even one new army, British Defense Intelligence said. Besides, it is known that Russian President Vladimir Putin is forming a network of mysterious private military companies across Russia to protect himself from another Wagner uprising. The insider media outlet reported this. The plans for the private military companies or special enterprises were noted in a new bill that raises the draft age for the Russian military. The move is aimed at countering sabotage and internal threats, according to a statement by Duma Defense Committee Chairman Andrei Kartapolov. It comes weeks after the mutiny by Russia's Wagner mercenary group, which exposed gaps in Putin's defenses. According to the report, Putin's militias would be under the command of regional governors, operate at Putin's behest, and would be armed by the Russian Ministry of Defense.